everyone. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Today, my sister Shirley Ann will be taking over. I'm going to be making this wacky 1934 cake where you don't use milk, eggs, or butter. And we're going to see what it's going to taste like yes. for the first time. What I want to do in this recipe is to see can you really make a cake without the butter, the, um, the butter, the milk, and the eggs? And it do it taste good? Do it taste well enough to be called a cake? We will see. So this is the pan I'm going to be making in it in. It's the eight by eight metal pan. Okay. Everything is going to be done in this one pan, except for the icing that I'm going to use. So this is one and a half cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to put in one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar, one cup and a half, one and a half cup of flour. Why I really wanted to try it is because I want to see is it not going to be as sweet because cake is really sweet to me. We're going to use one third cup of cocoa. And it's gonna be chocolate. I love chocolate cake with Hershey chocolate icing. One tablespoon of bacon powder. And I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna use three fourths of this salt. Cause I'm gonna leave some to go in the icing. That should be enough. I think when you put salt in it with cocoa, you mix, they say mix everything up in this pan because you actually gonna make the cake in this pan and it's a mix with a fork. We're not gonna be using a blender to make this cake because these cakes was made during the Great Depression here in America when um, they couldn't afford to go out and buy butter, milk, eggs. They just had to use what they got. My mom was telling me that that was really wicked because it stayed around for a while. It wasn't like a quick Passover because my mom can remember my grandma, not my mom, my grandma remembered them getting tickets to buy shoes. You could just go in the store and buy a pair of shoes. You actually had to get a ticket to go in the store. You had to give them that ticket in order to purchase the shoes you want. You couldn't buy shoes because you wanted to. You had to go if you had a ticket. If you didn't have a ticket, you couldn't get shoes. So people who had money would give, take the money to, you know, people who had no money, buy their ticket and then go get shoes. <laughs> so this is the flour all mixed up together. The flour, the cocoa, the salt, and the baking powder. Now you're supposed to make three little wells. I don't know why you had to make the wells, but let's do the three <laughs> wells. And one of the wells, one teaspoon of vanilla. The other well, two tablespoon of white vinegar. And in the third well, one third cup of oil. And then, they ain't said mix or anything, one cup of water. I think the thing is you're not going to be having to cream the butter because you you don't have butter in this. So all that mixed. And I guess it came by like, child, you've been used to eating cake and making all the kids cakes for their birthday. And now here is the Great Depression and you can't make any of that. And you had to make it work with what you have. I can understand that. What I don't understand is how this cake is not going to stick <laughs> to the bottom of the pan. I think the oil will have something to do with it. 
But we'll see. Do it. I'm trying to get all the, you know. The flour from the bottom of the pan. Maybe you shouldn't have to. It looks like a cake. It smells good. That's all I'm gonna do. going to go into into the oven for like one hour to 45 minutes because one 45 it's going to go into the oven for 45 to 45 minutes to one hour i don't think it's nothing wrong if i whiten on the edges a little bit because you know those will burn first all right See how it looks. It looks good, right? Looks really good. Let's go to the oven. It said after it's finished cooking, you should take it out of the oven, let it cool completely in the pan. So let's make the icing that's gonna go on the cake. I have everything pre-measured out. <laughs> I have so much doubt about this, this cake. What we're gonna do is one cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa. I'm gonna use this one fourth teaspoon of salt with this because to me, I think they use the salt to take out the bitterness of the chocolate and to enhance the sweetness of the cocoa. I'm gonna use the same fork. It says add water and to come to the right thickness for you. So I put in like a tablespoon because you know powdered sugar really don't need that much of liquid. Okay. Let's add a little bit more. Tablespoon. This fork is not working. She got to get a spoon. Okay, I went and got this little spoon. I love these spoons. My daughter got them off Amazon and they're wooden spoon, but small. And I really like that. They, I think they're made out of bamboo. So you're supposed to keep adding the water until it comes to the right consistency. And this water is, for some reason, it's not acting like when you add milk or when you add cream to this. You know I want to put some vanilla in here, but it didn't call for vanilla. And the icing don't look like um, warm water. On the wacky cake, the icing is not like spreadable. It's spreadable, but it's thin. Not real liquidy, but.
not real liquidy, but thin. Not like a pour, but not like thick spreading icing. It didn't yield a lot, but I guess it was enough. You had to do with what you had to do back in those days. So this is done. I'm gonna set it to the side, clean up my kitchen, and I will be back as soon as the cake cooled down. And we'll be finishing off that cake and and we will discuss whether it tastes like cake real cake or is it just flour mixed up with icing on it we'll see what it really tastes like when we get through would it be worth making it just to make it and the one thing i want to look if that take cake tastes super moist really good why are we putting all that other stuff into the cake I'll see you when it comes out of the oven. Okay, guys, I'm back and I was wrong. It's not 45 minutes to an hour. It's only 30 minutes in the oven. And when I placed the toothpick in it, it was ready to come out. So it's pretty. It's hot. It's beautiful brown. So they said, let it cool completely in the pan, and then we'll put that icing on it. Let it cool over here. And when that is done, I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and the cake have cooled completely in its pan, and it looked really got darker. One thing I do know here is the icing. Make that icing after the cake cool. It's not a lot of icing. I think if you want more icing, you can make two cups, double the batch. Let me get a... Let me use this spatula to get every drop because it's not a lot. I think it's a cake that they used to, you know, because of hard times, but at least gave you something sweet to eat, right? It's pretty. It's real pretty. I love the, the, the icing look really nice. I can't think of what I want to call this cake, but it reminds me of a cake we used to make when we was younger. Like a, just a plain pancake. Yeah, like a pancake. Not a pancake, but a pan cake. You would make it for the kids growing up. You see the shine on it? It's pretty. Joyce, I'm gonna have my sister come and try it with me so you can hear two opinion about this cake. And let's get a new sample of this cake. Cause I don't like sweet and she do. 
So you have two opinions. Do I think it's a good cake or do she? Did I put chocolate on me? No. Let me get a knife. I'm going to use that to get it out. I went and got a knife. not stuck to the pan so it came right up it looked like a brownie to me you know it looked yeah. like a brownie i was going to eat it off the knife but i said no let me taste the piece properly overly sweet. It's not. It's pretty good. It's a cake. Yeah. It really is a cake. Moist cake. Huh? Very moist. Yeah. It remind me of the simple time, simpler time. Yeah. Like my grandma would make this cake in the pan. Well, our grandma. So, now you know what that left me with? What? Why would we be adding all this stuff to cake? We were making it for book. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to make a cake for you and your family to eat on, you can even take this to the um, office party. This is a really good cake. It don't have butter, milk, or eggs. Mm -hmm. So would it be gluten? No, I think it's the, I don't know. It might be gluten-free. Not gluten. Vegan. It might be Oh, yeah, that's true. Not gluten for vegan. Well, what? Well, this is know. really good. It's good. Delicious. This is good. That's crazy. It's good. Thank you.